Fit like a bee, Danny Boy here, and welcome back to another episode of Anu 1800. We're following our one and only airship. Hey, wait. Go, oh, go, oh, oh, bro, turn around. I've just seen something hiding in that little crevice. It's like exploration scrap or something. Pick that up. I don't know what this is used for. Yeah, lost expedition scrap. There's probably more hiding around here, in fact. I think I maybe just saw another one, but we'll send you over there. We will start the expedition to find Sir John Faithful and his very, very lost crew. The ship has returned from its voyage. I didn't actually catch what that was, but we're concentrating on this. We sure will. Now this area has been perpetually snowing, so... How is it that these tracks have not been... Uh, recovered? Right, so we're following the tracks into the great beyond. There we go. Uh, first cairn. Uh, pick up. There's a boat there. Uh, I fear that Anne Harlow may just have interrupted our quest there. Uh, sure did. Uh, okay, read the notes. April 26th, 1848. We've been forced to abandon the HMS Styx and HMS Hades. We waited the entire summer for the thaw, but the weather gods were against us. They're still stuck fast in the ice. I am certain we can still find the Northwest Passage by foot, walking in land. We filled two lifeboats with essential supplies and will pull them over the snow like sleds. When next we find water, it will be a passage to the east. Then the lifeboats can row us to a safe haven. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's water. Like, nah, uh, maybe not. <laughs> I thought there was water back there. Uh, May 4th, 1848, the men tire dragging two lifeboats was perhaps ambitious, so they've been stopping to rest at regular intervals. I have ordered that all remaining supplies be, tr uh, supplies be trusted to one of the lifeboats. From now on, giving us double the pooling power. Despite setbacks, morale is good and we've lost no men since winter on Baffling Island. So that's a, that's a good thing. But they've left some supplies, you can see in that little uh, lifeboat there. Keep following the tracks. Oh, look, a camp. Right, they probably should have stayed in this camp. Uh, let's pick that up. We've got another note. Uh, next page. May 11th. What? It took them from May 4th. What? It took them like six, seven days to walk to from back there to here. Okay. <laughs> we are at a crossroads. To determine the best way forward, I sent a team led by Commander H. Sturgeon through the canyon to the north. A second team led by Lieutenant Commander RDO went over the snow dunes to the west. The last team led by Lieutenant Commander E. Couch went towards deep chasms in the east. May 14th, 1848. No team has returned. Whoa, that's after like three days. Camp supplies are becoming rather scarce and there's little out there to hunt. I think we'd even gobble up those seals then you offered us now. Yeah, you should have taken them up. It's kind of stupid not to. Uh, May 16th, 1848. Only two of the three teams have returned. I fear the worst has befallen Edgar Couch's men. A risk we all took the day we volunteered. It's hard out here. Cruel. The rest of us are to move without delay. Their sacrifice will not be wasted if we make it. Commander Sturgeon reports that his canyon tapered to a dead end. Do you, go and thank him, report something more promising. We will take the path he took. The ground looks too weak for the boat, but I'm sure we'll think of something we always do. 
so these they stayed here for a time but then went where well we'll actually go over this way right and see what we can see so this was the the canyon team right and this tapered off to a dead end so that's correct about turn uh, come back down here but the T uh, Lieutenant Commander Couch's men went out this way uh, to the west and they did not return I can see their tracks in the snow it looks like oh, they're dead oh dear so it looks like some of them fell down here and that's where they met their demise. There's no like scrap or anything over here, uh, which is strange. Okay, we'll head back over and then we'll head to the east. So go this way. So it looks like a good amount of uh, a man died there. Looks like there was maybe about 10 or so. Oh dear. More death. Actually, a few more deaths. Looks like one, two, three people died when the boat fell down here. Oh dear. Aha! Some of this stuff. A hey, plus five. I'm assuming this holds like fifty of whatever. I don't like that the the cloud settles in when I move off course. <laughs> there might be stuff over here as well. I can't see anything. Uh looks like a sled and some supplies were abandoned there. Oh dear, okay, so the G, uh, the Inuit leader there fears that the path they've taken is pretty bad. There's a few more dead, there's a couple of dead people back there. Now where did they go? Oh, down this way. Okay. Yep. Uh, some more died or one more person died there uh, no death here though that's a good sign and then they've come to water so they made it oh that's not water <laughs> oh looks like there's water underneath there and underneath here oh dear looks like they had to scale this this mountain side So, here we are, uh, we've got a third page in the journal, uh, April 26th, uh, June 21st, 1848, perhaps the warnings of these Inuit had worth, the ice desert has been treacherous, and we have lost both men and equipment, I see darkness in the eyes of the living, now that their companions lie buried. Well, they're not actually buried because we saw them all on the way past. If you knew that we are also at the end of our supplies, you might understand their anger. But they are loyal men, and now they cannot hope to survive alone. They will only challenge me if I admit defeat, and that I refuse. A sheer mountain lies ahead. I have had to stifle my shock at its sudden appearance. And at the perilous climb we must now undertake, for morale among the men is already low. I would not appear in my right mind as their leader if I asked them to turn and face the horrors of the desert we had all thought behind us. No, we climb. 
and meeting us at the summit, I believe, will be a view upon the shimmering water of the Northwest Passage. That shall state the hunger. Right, so they climbed up here. Mm, that they did. So they've now pretty much got no supplies. Well, looks like some of them made it to the top and then they died. Well, that sucks. Right, so we're heading up here. This poor soul made it that far and then died. Uh, have a quick look around for any supplies that are lying around. None. It looks like we're going here. There's another cairn. Uh, pick that up. So they made another little camp. Some other poor souls died. Three of them. There can't be uh, much more crew left. Uh, we've got a fourth page in the journal, though. June 30th. Lost my best man, Commander Sturgeon, in the mountains. Poor man was too anxious to prove me right. Some made it, but all hungry and desperate. You need shovel loads to fuel your belly up here, and we have no food at all. There were grunts and growls in the night. Either we eat the resident bears, or they eat us. Oh dear. So there were polar bears. I uh, can't see any polar bears. They came over here though. Another upturned sled there. I uh, can't see anything over here. Down this way though. Right, so they're on the, they headed down this passage. It looks like. Oh wait, uh, there's the polar bears. Oh dear. CFM Joseph. Sergeant. Ah, so it shows you the names of some of them. Not the names of all. Looks like they were trying to go into this cave. And the polar bears are still there though. And it looks like we head down this way. Right, continue on. Yep, the airship should be fine. Don't fear there, Kamek, my Indian friend. Kwamek. Oh, for which way did they go? You can hear the ice creak, uh, creak and it's creepy. Right, there's a dead guy over here and they clearly went that way, but I want to see what's over here. Oh, it's, it's a, well, there's a dead guy here. And that might actually be like a shortcut. I don't want to get lost, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna head back. Okay, stay with the airship. Right, so we're heading back this way. Yeah, there's three ways. Some went that way, some went another way. So the way we went there might actually be the correct way. Uh, the airship is in the way. Ah, here we go though. Do 
The ice is really loud. <laughs> uh, let's go to August 3rd. Sir John has entrusted me, uh, Lieutenant Commander Rebin de Yule, with the completion of his log, as he, is, he has no longer the strength to put pen to paper. Still, there likely won't be many more entries left for me, for me to write. We are no longer killed by bears, but have been lost days and weeks in high valleys that all look the same. Having lost our compass, we are now only six. Captain John Faithful, uh, Sergeant, the First Mate, Little, an Engineer, uh, Hodgson, an Assistant Surgeon, Irving, a Ship's Boy, and myself. The boy lives because he's a good lad and none of us could suffer to eat off him. Ah, oh, okay. The bear meat never was going to last, you see. Sir John did have a swear never to speak of that shame, but who does he think we will tell? So that looks like... Okay, that's interesting. It looks like they had to resort to cannibalism. Uh oh, someone else is dead. Looks like a nameless person. Very jubilant. Why does he keep calling that out? It's weird. Right, we are here. Uh, let's pick up this. And they're still they've still got some more supplies here. I find that strange. The ice is so loud. Why was the airship not moving there? I told you to pick this up. Right. Page number six. Uh, August 7th, 1848. Sir John speaks again. He says the silhouette of, a, silhouette of a great wolf came to him in his sleep and that he wishes to meet us. Our pack is down to three. Sir John, the boy Irving and me, Remy de you. We shall remember Sergeant Little and Hodgson. We shall remember the others who tripped and fell, who froze, who fell ill, who starved, who drowned, who were maimed by bears, who slipped on high or fell through the cracks. And we shall remember those who, when we ran out of food, drew the short straw in vain. So they actually drew, <laughs> drew straws to see who was getting eaten. That's pretty rough. If a passage exists, we have not found it. But though he is mad, I will accompany Sir John to the end. The ferocious ship's boy Irving is our guardian spirit, the same who, with superhuman strength, was able to fend off grown men in the snow who were after his legs for supper. Well, that's not fun. Yep, so he's pretty much just said that the men who are still alive, if they are still alive, uh, will probably have turned to madness. Alright, we've reached like a clearing. Oh, wow. Someone is alive. Two, three people. I was going to say, he was like really tall for a second there. Yeah, some of them survived. The last three.
Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, some of them survived. Ooh. Uh, Arnold Chronicles. Sir John Faithful found. Sir John and Lady June, uh, Jane reunited. Lady Faithful praises crucial worker work of Danny. Three heroic survivors return to loved ones at long last. Sir John Faithful, decorated for his courageous leadership, claims they partook in anthropophagy. Vehemently denied. They definitely did not eat one another. Well, they kind of did. We know that, but I suppose... <laughs> okay, let's get this ship back. The Led Zeppelin. Uh, you're picking up gold. That's magical. You've got nothing. Uh, you could probably come and unload some canned food because we've been gone for quite a long time, right? Let's move those whaling ships out of the way. So, Lady Jane and Sir John Fifth uh, sail to Lady Jane's Clipper. Where is that? Okay, have the airship. Come over here. We do have a second airship. The PN2. Uh, I need to rename that. But this is actually going to be tasked with... Ooh. What is going on? Okay. Where are you? You get back, right? And destroy this. Like, now. You as well, the Ardent Squib. I don't know where you are. But you are going to destroy this. Wants to give you something. The HMS Hades replica. That's pretty cool. Right, so we'll get the ship over here, right? Loaded up with that stuff. Looks like she's leaving. Uh, what's in here? Items? crud. It sent them to another island. And it's, they're not in there. <laughs> Where was the last thing I... Sir John's logbook? I, will probably, I don't know if you can stick that in a museum. Uh, are, are they on the airship? Oh, they are. Okay. Right, so the other airship though, ship under attack, yeah, oh no, that is not, sir, the angry wrath, it must be out here somewhere. So is that a new quest? Pick up lost cargo. Okay. Uh, you. Lost cargo. Go over here. Apparently. Uh, settle on an arctic plateau. That's what we're going to do. Although we're going to remove Gasparov from here. I don't think he can actually do anything. I don't know where the Black Baron is, but I wish it would sort of hurry up. <laughs> right, Black Baron, come over here and attack that. Whose ship is this? I want Gasparov gone. And then I want the other airship, right? Because we need to settle. So what do we actually need? To settle on a plateau. I literally have no idea. And I don't know if I want to settle on this one. 
This one has like gas and stuff. It's all sort of like spread out. Maybe this one up here will be better. Uh, can you load up on like wood? Wood and steel. Right, 14 steel. That seems like it's not going to be enough. So we're probably going to have to take steel over. Yeah, Conquer Island. Why are you just sitting there? You be quiet, Beryl. The Arctic belongs to me. She's taking this island. And there's seal skins there. Damn you. I needed that. What about this? This is another Arctic Plateau. This has got seal skins. It is very small. I think I'm going to have to populate that as well. Uh, right, that clipper is trying to escape. And I would like it not to. I don't know where Gasparov is currently residing. His military is at 57. Economy is at nine. I don't know where he could possibly be where he's making steel and stuff to get to these islands. Uh, unfortunately, this ship is going to meet a watery grave in the cold Arctic uh, snow. Right. Does anyone have steel? Probably not. Right. You head back. To the old world and head to Yavin and you can pick up some steel for me. Okay, this thing is going down and then I'll have this ship guard these areas. I was going to send it back but I'll keep them here just in case. Right, how did this uh, airship get on uh, where is oh, th oh there's the ship there what can old Nate give me for scrap I wonder uh, there's one of his airships We sunk an enemy ship. Okay. Right. You come out here. The black bar. And then it can guard, like, sort of these two. And then we can get this one to come out here. Right. Where are you? You come out to. Oh, everyone is settling over here now. The honeymoon period is over. And everyone is taking islands that have got seal skins. Which is bad. Right, come over here. I want to see, right, if it'll give me or what I actually need to build an outpost. Uh, we're sending this to old Nate's, right? And then once it's done, I'm going to send it to Cape Trelawney to drop off these. It most certainly is. Maybe. Transmute. He's not actually built here, I don't think. It just says... Uh, Old Nate. Or do I transmute it here? I do transmute it here. Uh, what do we have? Yeah, it's like 50. 50 is a lot. 10 and some brass. We could probably do 10 and some brass. 
FX Explorer Shelter and Technician Shelter. Arctic Flu Chance minus 10. Okay. Right, I'm gonna have you go to Cape Trelawney and go to Coruscant, and then we'll get this, the HMS Hades replica, into the museum. Now, the other airship is heading over here. Now, when it flies over here, it'll give me a, a blueprint of what I need. Build gas mine, get th zero of three gas pumps. Should be able to do that. Should be fine. Right, so what do I what do I need to what do I need to build this? Right. Ten grand for eight steel. I've actually got eight steel. Alright, I want it. Well you go over here. I want it like up against this edge. Okay, that was slightly too far. Okay, there. 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 This is so... Frustrating. <laughs> I wanted it to go hard up to the back here. Okay, hard up to the back there is fine. No. No, 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 no. Turn around. Go ever so slightly that way. That way, that way, come on, come on, come on. I will, right, build it there, build trading post. Metal's getting off a upset that we're getting stuff, but it's mine. It is mine for the taking. Right, you head over here, and then go and pick up some more wood. And then we'll be, we're, we're kind of good, uh, really. You've been wounded in battle, but you're going to come back over here. Oh dear, he sent another ship in. I don't know where he's trying to go. There's no way, uh, there, there's maybe another island over here that I haven't discovered yet. Unfortunately, he sort of crossed paths with this ship. And the range of this ship is pretty far. Or the firing range of the ship is pretty far. Come on, you can outrun this. It's severely damaged. It might be trying to escape. I think it actually will escape. This is just way too much damage on it for the moment was it maybe coming down here no that's a plateau i think it was trying to go here uh the lead zeppelin wow it, it got across there fast i want to see this come on buddy close him down it is wounded there we go it's just slightly more wounded slightly more wounded yeah, it's going down. Oh, it actually... Yeah, it's... It's in a kamikaze run. I forgot to check and see if the other one uh, dropped anything. Right, come over here. Pick up that. 20 brass. 
Uh, you come back over here. Uh, we'll go to Coruscant. Uh, there we go. Airship. Right. Unload that, please and thank you. Right. And then we'll get that in the museum. Right here. Hey, HMS Hades replica. It's pretty cool, actually. Okay, right, we shall send this guy back. Uh, I, need, I need to click on the airship. How come my airships look different from Nate's? Uh, is there coal here? If there is coal, we may as well have it load up with coal. Right, go to the Arctic. Go to Hoth. Now, this guy here, right, was coming over to pick up this guy, the captain of the marines, enabled on ships. Uh, there's no other ship person. But we're going to send this ship off on another expedition. Uh, what's the name of it? The Buen Casenju. Okay. Expeditions. Uh, zoological expedition. Yeah. <laughs> That's a weird saying there, our sea captain. Where is the boy in Cassetio? Right, its morale is fully restored. Uh, we're good for everything. Off it goes. Right, you were unloading shiny things. Uh, veterinary antibiotics. Boys choir flyer. Some of these can go in a museum, right? I think that's in the museum. But well maybe, right? Can I add yeah, can I add that in there? And that in there. Well they are very well guarded. Right, you head back. Because you are going to be our delivery ship. Go to Yavin first. And then we'll have it tour around all the areas to check for stuff. But we'll leave it there for that uh, episode. Our next... Pick up Lost Cargo. Where? You come over here, peahen. Uh, yeah, but we'll leave it there for that episode. Uh, we'll get the Arctic Plateau up and running. We'll get some gas made. And yeah, we'll leave it there for that episode. I'm going to go down and settle this. I can't, though, because don't don't have any steel. Which is unfortunate. So we'll have to hopefully bring some steel over. What we'll do is, though, we'll bring you down here. If Gasparov tries to come in again, you can annihilate any ship that appears. But we'll leave it there for that episode. We rescued Sir John Faithful. We've got one Arctic Plateau sort of set up, which is pretty cool. Yep, that expedition is heading out, and we'll leave it there. So I've been Danny Boy. This has been Anno1800. As always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there's more you'd like to see in the future, then hit that subscribe button. But I've been Danny Boy, it's been Anno1800, and I will catch you later.